Now let's talk a little bit about printer permissions. Now printers are objects on our network and as objects they can be assigned permissions and of course we're talking about the logical printer and I'll show you that in just a moment here. But when a printer gets installed on the network it receives default permissions automatically and those default permissions are that all users or any user that's in the everyone group can use that printer or can print to that particular printer. Now we can use permissions to allow specific groups or individual users. Microsoft's always going to recommend that you handle permissions at the group level though. But we can allow specific groups or users to print to specific printers. Now Windows provides four levels of printing permissions that you can use. The first one's called print. And if I give you the permission of print, then you can connect to the printer, send documents to it, and if that printer is functioning and has paper, prints will come out. Now by default, this permission is assigned to the everyone group when that logical printer is installed. Manage printers is a permission that allows the user to both print to the printer, but also they have complete administrative control of the printer. Manage documents. The user can pause, restart, cancel, and rearrange the order of the documents uh, on the printer, but the user cannot send documents to the printer or control its status, and so that's only for managing the documents on it. Now the last permission is not really a level of permission, it's kind of a status or a state, but that is the deny permission, and this overrides all preceding permissions, and so I want to show you this. And so what I'm going to do here is let's go out to the Start menu, and I'm going to go into Administrative Tools, and we will open Print Management. Now keep in mind, Print Management is in my Administrative Tools, and this is working because I already have, first of all, added the uh, Print Services role to this server, and then I went in and installed some printers. But notice on this Brother Laser printer right here, if I right-click on this guy, come down to Properties, and look for the security tab. You will notice that I have groups or usernames here. Here's a username, Mark Long. Notice on this printer, and notice this is the logical printer, right? I can print, I can manage the printer, and I can manage documents. Now I gotta be careful with deny. If I give myself a deny here, this will override any other permissions I'm getting from other groups, and I will not be able to use that printer, okay? So I'm going to, uh, cancel that to make sure that I don't inadvertently do that. Go back into properties, go to security. Then notice the everyone group has print, so everyone is allowed to print to this particular printer. Now if I wanted everyone to also be able to manage documents, that's all I have to do, and the hard work's done, and everybody can manage. But I'll clear that as well. So very easy to go through and see what every individual group or user can do to this particular printer or to use this. Now, when this is used along with Active Directory groups and all that, it can get really powerful for controlling your network. But for now, that's all I want to show you about printer permissions. Just keep in mind those printers, those logical printers are objects, and we can control what users can do with the individual printers on our network.